Hey y'all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a quick look at the Click. This claims to be a smart bike light that is Bluetooth compatible, so you can connect it wirelessly to a companion app and control things like different flash combinations, and this can be used as a tail light. People will notice you if you are braking, and how it does this is using an accelerometer. It doesn't require any extra fancy installation, just pop it on and you're pretty much ready to go. It's using a special lens design that they've crafted that can maintain up to 90 lumens peak brightness which they claim to make it the brightest bike light so definitely is a pretty interesting gadget especially if you are trying to add more safety while biking they even claim that it's energy efficient because it's powered by a custom silicon or processor safety functions like anti-theft but this has to be close enough to the range of the bike where your phone is still connected using bluetooth and again it's using that accelerometer so if someone's kind of shaking the bike it will send you an alert group syncing seems to be another function so you can also purchase multiple Multiple sets if you're biking with a friend and it can flash in the same pattern and mode and here's just a demo of that braking in action so if you slow down it just turns on there either using the seat post or even onto the saddle and other positions as well seems to be pretty versatile and it claims to last up to 20 hours on a full charge and they do have a few other bike accessories as well including this mini travel pump so if you need to inflate your tires uh, this claims to be one of the world's smallest this is the carbon black colored edition and inside here we have of course just the click itself we have a quick user guide and here are all of those pieces so it can be elastically attached or clip it onto a backpack since it doesn't need to be plugged into power and it can still work uh, basically people behind you will still see it i will mention that the charging cable it is using micro usb so this is one thing that i would like them to see upgrade to usb type c but it is what it is it does have this uh, kind of interesting design going on with a translucent acrylic plastic which i do think is kind of unique and attractive looking pretty cool and the entire body is otherwise made out of a polycarbonate plastic you can see that lens design definitely Definitely looking a little unusual extending downwards and there is a physical power on and off key on the top here and yes this thing is super bright so it's even under this kind of studio lighting still is cutting across so I'm not gonna say it's as bright as a laser beam but obviously it's definitely not gonna be something that you have an issue with even if there's some sunlight hitting across it and there is kind of that middle light as well outside of the two ones which are magnified by the lens. Tap on it again, it seems to change some of the strobe patterns and the effects. In fact, if we just dim the lights ever so slightly, we can maybe see that a little bit more, a very dramatic red light. Now the color here isn't customizable, so you can't change it to yellow or green or something like that, uh, but still it's kind of interesting. Here's a consistent glow, and then the back here which has this rubber seal is what covers up the micro USB port for charging. So it is a very simple design, but overall seems well constructed. So it's called Halt Grid, and afterwards uh, it will connect to this particular light. The overall UI of the app I do think is pretty clean looking with the dark mode set by default. And we can immediately see, uh, again, the battery status here as an indication. If we tap into it, we can actually set up uh, up to four different customizable lighting modes and switch between those. So for example, on the first mode and the second one, it's a little bit faster in terms of the flashing. The third one, which was the consistent without strobing. So that's kind of the four patterns that we saw by just tapping on the power key. But let's say I don't want to use this particular effect. I can change the LED pattern for the top and the middle as well as the bottom LED lights individually and also the brightness levels for all three of those lights which is pretty interesting but the bottom one is still quite bright I can also dim the brightness of that bottom one as well and also how you want to have it on always constant glowing blinking surging burst or off glow it will slowly flash on and off as you can see there we also have the aforementioned blink which is going to be a little faster in its uh, effect surge which looks like this it kind of just gets a little bit brighter and then turns off again and then burst looks like this down below we also have a few lighting functions including the eco mode which will lower the brightness a little bit and the light will last for at least 30 more minutes before the battery runs out and then finally the theft mode so let's actually try this one out if i'm kind of just trying to rattle and shake this a little bit you can hear the alarm get triggered on the phone. Theft has been detected and a alert has been pushed over. The brake light can even be customized. So if you want it to be 
uh, flashing more often as long as you're doing a gentle break or if you want it to be kind of lower sensitivity so you have to break really hard for it to get triggered you can also set that up and overall again working pretty well in terms of connectivity as long as there is any pole or open kind of area you can just attach it on using the rubber and it stays in place pretty easily really no problems here in terms of visibility in fact it does get extremely bright even if there is an ambient or daytime light say if you were really writing at night if you turn off all the lights you can still definitely make it out. Although the only thing to keep in mind is when you do need to eventually charge it, you have to plug it in using USB. So on one end, if you are riding your bike, maybe if you have a power bank attached to your backpack, you can kind of charge it for a few minutes there, or you might have to still take it out from the mount to charge it up and then pop it back on. There's definitely a lot of different options these days when it comes to smart lights for bikes, but I think this is one of the more clever ones that is very easy to control and has a lot of adjustments through the app, which uh, kind of sets it apart and does work pretty well. Uh, just attach it and you're ready to go. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.